Hey everyone, so this week I thought I would just film a little vlog because so many of you have been asking me what I've been up to during lockdown and it's kind of the usual. I work from home so not much has changed apart from not being able to see my nan um, and not being able to just walk down the shop for lunch. But I thought I would take you through my week. I have seen my sister, finally. Uh, I thought I'd do her nails. So yeah, she's been isolating, we've been isolating. Um, so we decided we would finally meet up. I bought a new vlogging camera, I bought the Sony ZV-1. I didn't really need a new camera as such because I do have the Olympus pen which I absolutely love. But this one has everything that most vlogging cameras don't have. Also because we have our wedding coming up and we're not getting married in the UK so I want to vlog the experience. So many of you have been asking me for it so I think you'll enjoy it. So it was an excuse to kind of buy the camera and use it for that. I've just had some lunch. Today is Tuesday. I did my nails in the week, so I just infilled them and redid those. Um, I also did my roots. I know I said I would show you guys, but um, it was one of those days where you know you feel pretty naff about yourself. You just think, oh, I just want to get my hair done. I want to do my roots. Um, and I just wasn't in the mood to set up my camera and do it. So I do apologise, but I will film it on the next one, I promise. Um, so I literally just touched up my roots. So I'm not doing too bad in lockdown. My nails are done. Um, my roots and hair are done. Toner's done. I'm pretty good. <laughs> How are you guys doing? How are your roots for those of you that have blonde hair or grey hairs? How are you coping? Um... Would you attempt to do your own hair at home? But no. Okay, I'm off to that then. Callie? She's doing Callie's nails. Shall I show around? and some 70% chocolate and I sit down.
Amazon store sent me a variety of their products and these um, blenders were in there and it's really good it feels really similar to the actual beauty blender um, and it doubles in size and it's so so soft uh, I'm going to link them below because I'm not getting paid to talk about it they just gifted them to me and it's up to me if I want to share it but they're actually really good so they could be a nice little addition to someone's kit because they're quite affordable so I'm just in my office and I am going to edit a quick IGTV for Instagram um, and I'll also adapt it for TikTok, answer some emails, do a little bit of work and then I might pop out into the garden and see the rabbits. So this is me at my desk, nothing special, we've got these pop figures in the background, we'll be doing this room up at some point but for now it's pretty standard. Lots of you always ask me about these glasses, these are my Marc Jacobs ones. Um, I just put them on when I'm editing to save me getting a headache at the end of the day. Because apparently when you have an astigmatism and you're working on the computer, your eyes are constantly straining to stay in focus. Still got 20-20 vision, but I do get a headache after sitting on the computer for hours, so they reckon my eyes will feel less tired if I wear my glasses. Today is a dreary, dreary day. June is pants in the UK. If you're ever going to get married, do it in April or May. <laughs> Terrible weather. So today I am going to work with Tommy. He owns two companies. One of them is a t-shirt printing company and another is a clothing brand. He owns one of the biggest stores on Etsy selling custom t-shirts. So sometimes it gets really, really busy and even though his family work for him, um, you need extra hands. So I like the change of pace from filming and editing. So um, I'll sometimes go over every now and again and just help out. Christmas I'm usually like an employed person <laughs> working for him um, and then throughout the months every time it gets kind of busy which it has been extra busy in isolation a bit like Christmas time um, so I'm going to go over and help so I'll take you with me and show you a little bit of what it's like. Work today, I'm with Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Double busy. Today is a day in the life of a t-shirt printer and a cushion printer and a mug printer and what else do we sell? Dreams. Dream maker. <laughs> oh, I could be called Rufus, the dream maker. Amberly and Rufus. Did anyone ever watch Dreamstone? HQ. This used to be Tommy's mum and dad's garage but he completely converted it um, which is super handy so that his brother and his mum both work for him and it means that we've all been able to isolate completely, we've only had shopping delivered, we've not gone and seen anybody so that we can still run the business and still be able to just see each other which has been really really good. <coughs> My mug is done, this one's a makeup one so I thought I'd specifically show you this one. Back 
own. I'm now going to take my makeup off, get ready for bed. So I thought I'd just quickly show you some of the skincare that I'm using at the moment. Lots of what I get is gifted, but none of it is sponsored. I'd always be completely transparent with you. But I'm currently using a product that I previously purchased. Um, and when I showed it for you guys, they kindly sent me the entire line to try. So I'm very, very fortunate. I bought it because it is a skincare brand by a dermatologist. So the brand I've been using at the minute is the Flawless range by Dr. Sam Bunting. I first discovered it over on Instagram and I bought the Nightly Serum because it has all of the actives that I was using on their own, but in one product. So this is the Nightly Serum that I was using. Um, this has everything that I was basically using on its own, so it just makes everything easier. There are some products you just can't use to give out, so this just takes all that hard work out for you. So this is the range. I've got her daily sunscreen, which is SPF 50. This is a 50ml, and you're supposed to use like three pumps for your face and then three pumps for your neck, which I worked out probably would only last you about 16 days. The idea is that to get full 50 SPF, you need to use three pumps of it. So if ever you're using an SPF 30, for instance, and you're only using a very small amount of it, then it's likely that you're only getting about an SPF 12 rather than the full amount. After I've applied my morning active ingredients, I'm using the light moisturiser. This is beautiful. It doesn't um, have any fragrance or any nasties, but it has a smell of rapeseed oil, only very, very subtly, but it's something that I'm not a massive fan of, but it doesn't last, so that's absolutely fine for me. At night, I'm using the Flawless Nightly Serum. I'll put on screen the main actives as to why I've chosen that one. Um, this is the moisturiser I put on in the evening because it's a little bit more rich compared to the day moisturiser. It isn't greasy or anything like that, it just has a little bit of a different texture. I don't know if you can see but it's a really thick consistency. It takes a lot of effort to squeeze out the tiniest amount but you do only really need a very little amount. A little goes a really long way. So that is the range I'm currently using. It's all fragrance free, it's non-comedogenic, suitable for all skin types. Blemish prone skin will love this range. So yeah. Hi Thomas. Hello. I'm going out to get a muck flurry. Lockdown has lifted a little bit of it, Thomas. A little That's bit smooth. of normality little bit of ice cream. I'm not even an ice cream person, but because I can't have a McFlurry, I now want one. We had one how many days ago? <laughs> about a week. That was about a week ago. We had one and it was really nice. So we're going to get another one. And then we're going to go for a walk down the seafront um, and stretch our legs. Can you see the McFlurry options on there? I want more teaser. What are you having, Thomas? I love the same. A double cheeseburger. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, is everything for you? I see, yeah, thanks. Drive around to the next one, please. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, I might get uh, some chicken nuggets. No, it's gluttonous. No, no, no. Oh, I'll have a double cheeseburger, please. And we've just had dinner. Yeah, but you didn't have lunch. Malteser McFlurry. Doesn't feel like June at all. Got scarves on. It's not June. It is June. Stop fibbing. Who's June? It's very cold. This is such a beautiful place to walk, even if it is crappy weather. We bought a kayak when the weather's nice. People come down here paddleboarding and stuff. It's going to be fun, isn't it, Thomas? Sail off on a little holiday. Yeah. Let me show you. You said it was beautiful down here. <laughs> all different shades of brown. The sun's out, isn't it? It's gorgeous in the sun's out. Oh, oh. Maybe three quarters of the way out, didn't we, when the tide was out? Yeah. Um, it took but, us four weeks, didn't it? Shut up. We had to turn around and come home. But even with no water and just puddles, I felt seasick. So <laughs> I had to come back. <laughs> Ooh, I've actually got 
goosebumps on my teeth for Jared. Well, it's going to be brighter next week, so I'm going to bring you back down here and show you the complete difference of what it looks like. But I'll come in the evening when the sun's setting because it's nicer. Stones in my shoes. Hate that, don't you? Are you sure they're not in your socks? Might be. There's no spiders. Thank you. What a man, eh? No. No. No, crushing my what toe. What are you doing? Messing around with your feet, spreading them out like that. <laughs> I did it. Get your trotters in there. No, I didn't do it. You did it. And just in case anyone thinks I can't do laces and I've got Velcro, I can do laces. I just chose Velcro. <laughs> Tommy are going over to his mum's. Um, Tommy is going to. We have been refurbishing, so we, Tommy. <laughs> I was going to say, we. Refurbishing. Have you seen a bit of sandpaper yet, have you? <laughs> I work. <laughs> I'd work. Um, we've been refurbishing my nan's old table because she can't fit it in her new place. So um, we're refurbishing it to be shabby chic. Well, Tommy is anyway, um, and then we're going to sell it, put it towards our wedding fund, which would be nice. So Tommy's going to go and finish some of that off today. Probably film a little bit to show you how we're getting on. I've done a workout this morning. I've done weights all week, so today was just a little something to keep the heart rate going. And then I'm going to edit tomorrow's upload in the sunshine, in the garden. Um, so yeah possibly going to do a social distance walk with my twin sister and my cousin later with the dogs. I don't have a dog so they did jest that I should bring out the rabbits. But um, yeah, so we need a dog. We've always had dogs in our family but um, Tommy's always had cats so he's desperate for a dog. What do you want Tommy? I'll have anything with a tail and four legs I think. Doesn't even have to have eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy wants a Dalmatian. I want it to be called Pongo, naturally, or Purdy. And what do you want? I don't know, something less, um, less obvious. You can't have a Dalmatian If you're going to call it quiet. Pongo, you could, might as well call it Spot. No. It's not the same, is it? It's not far off. It's not the same at all. are wrong because it is bloody hot. Um, Jane's going to come out and give you a little tour of the garden, a little update since my very first vlog. Um, you guys love Jane's garden so <laughs> everything has grown. Here she comes. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. Well, everything's kind of grown since we was last year isn't it? It has. Still got the two apple trees. We have new pears. Oh yeah. So it was a diseased tree. Cut it right off, not a leaf in sight, not a branch. Now we've full of leaves and we do have a new pear tree. They're so cute. Will it come out that funny shape? Well, maybe, I don't know. They might be um, wonky, but. Yeah, it's really What cute. do you expect from a five pound tree from the pound stretcher? <laughs> oh, I've got blueberries. Just a few. Oh, they're tiny. Just a few. Cherries. <laughs> Wow. Oh, well, they're actually turning now. Yes, we're going to have to put a net over this before the birds come and eat them all. It's looking good, it's huge. Yes. You won't be seeing the figs. Yes. So this but is your fig tree. We're actually getting nice figs. Oh my gosh, you've actually got really, really nice big ones. figs growing. Loads of them actually. Yeah, look. Oh my god. Loads of figs. We enjoy figs, don't we? We do like it. So we'll we do a bit of pruning around that so more light comes in. Yep. What's this one? This is a little cherry tree. Oh but yeah, it's a little cherry tiny. Here. Very Aww. tiny. It's really a patio one. Don't think we'd be eating those. <gasps> These, this is the plum tree. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so that one came off. <laughs> This plum came off. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, but there's loads on here. But there is some other plums, yeah. There's a bit of a dog bit now. And the oh. thing was, I don't know what they, those ones are. Funny. 
And that's the dams and trees, isn't it? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh. And you did so much jam before, didn't you? We did. Sorry, Kilo. 52 kilos of damson jam. jam. Everybody had damson jam. <laughs> and damson gin. Don't forget the damson. Oh, oh yeah. vodka. Damson vodka. <laughs> Now nice this tree walnuts. was really little when we visited it before and now look at it, it's huge and this is the walnut tree. I do tree. need to cut this branch off even though we've had Oh look! Well that is. Little walnuts! Yeah, well, they're not little are they, they're really big. And there's, there's small, there's loads more. We, we started with one, I think then we had five. So this year... There's oh yeah, there's loads. Here. There's loads over there, I know. So yeah. impressive, Jane. Oh, do you have any olives? No. No olives Can't yet. see any olives. I think we really have the weather for, to grow the olives. Not unless all these grow into olives. Possibly. If anyone knows, let us let know. Let us know, yes. Do these grow into olives? Or is, is it a flower? It looks as if it would be a flower, but it... But who knows? Who knows? Shall I go and get the bananas? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell them the story, Jane. I can. So this is the banana tree and we hung two bananas underneath and then told Tony that the tree had grown bananas. <laughs> he was blown away, weren't he? Oh bless him, he was only gullible for a few seconds. Yeah. Poor guy. Yeah. We haven't got any gooseberries this year because I've just moved it. Gooseberries? Yeah, red mm. gooseberries. Oh, my nan loves a gooseberry. Well, they're red ones, we haven't got them this year. Oh no, it's a green gauge, it. she likes. Oh no, but the bottle brush is coming out. Look at this. This is brilliant. That's nice. The one we had before was the biggest ever we'd ever seen. Massive plant, native to Australia. <laughs> um, and of course the Christmas tree. Oh look at it. So this, this Christmas tree, look how tall this is now. So big. That came back from Innsbruck in my suitcase in a little water bottle. Did it? Ten I years ago. I like this. Ten years ago. I, I, out for a walk, little sapling, put it in a water bottle, put it in my suitcase. <laughs> there we go. And there it is. And it's been moved from the old house, so. Wow. Tommy's doing the spindles, a couple of chairs. It smells well nice. What are you spraying it with? Uh, paintless touch, rust-oleum in blossom white. If you like me and you like smells, is a good one. It stinks. No, it don't stink. It smells well nice. We should do it in a perfume. Rust-oleum furniture finishing wax. Nice. Why do you have to hold it up? Uh, I'm just going to do a little in. tester on the back, just in case it's not the right colour. Or if it looks rubbish. At least we can change our minds then. Yeah, because this was actually quite dark, wasn't it? And now it's gone quite light. Yeah. I quite like yeah. that pine look to it. Pine yeah, so it's going to go to almost back to that then. Yeah, I prefer that. No, you get wax with um, stain in it, colour in it. Some. So we're going to stop and have some snacks. Jack's playing. What are you playing? Animal Crossing. How old are you? Soon to be 30. Yeah. What, what's the age group? It's three. Actually, yeah, I love them. <laughs> yeah, I'm just copying Shana because she's cool. Because <laughs> we're twins. Because we're twins. <laughs> Technically, true. We are twins, just not to each other. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, no. It's pissing down. 
James and Mad rush to take snacks oh. in. Was this what you can't take in? You have to eat. <laughs> Welcome to Britain. Shall we finish that? Yeah, thank you. Well, that was nice whilst it lasted. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. found concealers creased so to find a crease free as a concealer that had the benefits of an eye serum to me bffi is you know the most incredible complex and um it doesn't feel heavy on the eye and we are actually going to be changing the packaging the tutorial you'll know that it was a little bit hit and miss with the palette itself but I've saved it with a little bit of her Marie Antoinette eyeshadow the eyes to mesmerize uh, cream eyeshadow on top looks really pretty now I've got to pack up it's always the worst part brush cleaning and tidying up sometimes you just lack a little bit of motivation <laughs>
it is Father's Day and we're over Tommy's parents and his sister's over. She hasn't had her hair done since before the lockdown and stuff so her hair's grown down loads so just logging. <laughs> Crystal's hair's outgrown so much and she's usually so blonde it's so odd for me to see her with such dark hair so I asked her if she wanted me to highlight it. I do have a little flair for hair, but I'm no hairstylist, no hairdresser anyway, so it should be interesting. Let's go and turn it with some of this. Let's wash this hair. Look at the look at the sunset. Oh, where are we looking? Out the window. Oh, you can't actually see the sunset though, can you? Wow, look at that. You can only see the fields. Oh, look, oh look, you can see the sunset on here though. Look at that. <laughs> oh, heaven. Heaven, heaven, heaven. Oh, smell that air. just gone for the top because as I said I'm not a hairdresser but I can do baby lights and some balayage so we've gone for that instead but it will tie the crystal over won't it crystal why are you brushing your teeth all the time I can't do one thing at one now <laughs> it's oh god of dusk. it's so good it's the colour of dusk it looks well good doesn't it of actual dusk yeah <gasps> love <laughs> It's so much brighter at the front, but because they're baby lights, it looks more natural. Oh gosh, thank God! <laughs> you feel oh, like you again. What a relief! <laughs> oh my God! I thought I turned fully brunette. <laughs> oh, it looks really nice. Should we dry it? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yay! Hi. <laughs> Let me stand in front of you so I can see it in this light. It's gorgeous on the light. Oh, it looks so nice. <laughs> oh, it's really good. It smells also. That's that label in. Divine. So I broke it up a little bit at the top. Baby lights around the front. <laughs> like I'm sort of a hairdresser. But Look at these beautiful, like, like the actual like thin wispiness of them. It's so cool. Yeah, baby lights. I love it. Baby looks lights. so good more like you. I'm me again. <laughs> I'm like the lockdown is a distant memory. Yeah, oh, it looks really nice. Yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome. <gasps> mm. So flipping good, even if I do say so myself. So I've just done a workout, um, got showered, bunged my hair up, it's too hot to have it down today. I'm going to meet up with my friend Maria, who I used to live with in Cyprus, you'll know where it's Pilot Maria, you've seen her on previous vlogs. Um, we're going to the seafront today, go and get some sun, try and social distance at the same time. I'm going to take you back down there and show you what it's like in the day, and I'm also going to take you in the evening because it's so pretty in the evening. This is my outfit for the day, I need to get a proper like full length mirror in my bedroom. Um, I've got a crappy one that goes up behind the door. 
years ago when we lived in a flat these types of what they called wardrobe doors used to be mirrored so it was great but in this house we don't have a full length mirror so I have this one which is on the back of the door the same I don't know what I did there. So this is the one we got on the back of the door but we put our dressing gowns up there as well so it looks messy but this is the one I'm wearing today shorts and little fringe top it is here Hello. I'm vlogging. Ooh, I look at that camera. Are you talking to the neighbours? Yes, I'm the neighbours. the neighbours. <laughs> She's super cute. Ah. Hi. Hi. I love that camera. We haven't seen each other since February. Yeah. February. Maria's been shopping for our little trip out. What have we got? This is like us in a nutshell in Cyprus. We used to get this every single day that we'd walk down to the beach. So it always reminds me of Maria. <laughs> <laughs> I hate coriander, so she's done her best, bless her up, to find some food without coriander in. But she loves it, and I hate it. But I, I will it. give up coriander today, only for you. Just for me. <laughs> Ain't that a good friend? Yeah. And then we've got some orange, and of course, ginger shots, because Maria is all about the ginger. It's good for the tummy. It is! Look, she's having a baby! Yeah. Made it. Got my hat on, safety first. Maria does not have a hat on. No, but, but I do have SPF 50 in my face. Yes, and she's wearing a coverall type top, so she's good. I get but away with it. I did bring my Factor 50, just to make sure that we are topped up. I still don't have it on, but I'm going to put it on now. But instead we're going to eat. Sun lotion on for the beach. This is my ultimate favourite. And um, this is the Soleil de Jours SPF 30. I also usually get it in the 50, but it has the best mister. So good. I also have this one with me, uh, which I received in the post today. I love the Lorca, and this one is SPF 50, but I only sprayed it once. It's only a small one, but I just sprayed my body with it, and now there's nothing left in it. It's either empty or it's no longer working with the aerosol, so that's a bit disappointing. But it's nice. Is brought with her. It's like a cush, cushion, cushion shade. shade. So you put your head down and shade your face. It's Perfect Jackson's for us. Yes. It was on Dragon's Den. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. What a lovely, lovely day. Hottest day of the year. Um, what is it, 28? I think this is going to hit 34. 34. T today it's going to be hotter than the Bahamas. So the fact that we can't travel makes us very happy to have the weather but again as I've said in the last few videos or last few clips hat 
sunglasses, protect that face, especially as I'm getting married. Don't want no wrinkles, don't want a pigmentation coming out. <laughs>